Welcome to Take 5. Here is your host, Dr. Driver. Welcome to Take 5. I'm your host, Dr. Driver. You know, it's quite obvious we listen to enough news to see there's a lot of problems going on. And I'm not here to have a political message, but there's important things that we need to share. We need to pray for our leaders. Now, most everybody that knows who I am knows prayer is everything. Because I've seen God do miracles when it comes to praying. Praying. So here's what I want to share with you. Pray for your president. Pray for your administration. Pray for your governors, your mayors, your city councilmen. Pray for all those that are in leadership. And I'm here to tell you, my friends, if you can do that, you'll see miracles happen. You will see things happen for the positive. Now, Proverbs 28, verse 2. Let me read this one to you. It says, when there is moral rot within a nation, its government topples. But wise and knowledgeable leaders always bring stability. Wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability? So pray for your president, pray for your governors, pray for your mayors, pray for your city councilmen. Pray that God will fill them with wisdom, that they will operate with the knowledge of God. Hey, most of our leaders say they go to church anyway. So help them out. Pray for them. Okay? This is very important. Let me now share in closing on this in 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 13 through 14. It says, Therefore, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether to the king as supreme or to governors as to those who are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of those who do good. We're told, we're commanded to pray for those who are in government office. Don't despise your leaders. You pray for them. By praying for them, God puts leaders in authority. God brings up nations and he takes down nations. But if we're looking at the scriptures the way I look at it, 1 Peter chapter 2 is telling me clearly, I must pray for the king or the president and the governors and the mayors and the city councilmen and obey the laws of the land. This will bring glory to God in everything you do. And no one will be able to bring an accusation as long as you obey the laws of the land. The caveat to explaining this in closing, never disobey God's word though. If the laws of the land tell you to disobey God, I'd rather obey God than man. So there is a contrast between praying for your leaders, following the laws of the land, but also obeying God. And the laws of the land should line up with the word of God. So make the right decision and do your part by praying for those that are in leadership. Obey the laws of the land, be a good citizen, but obey God. And you will always be at peace among your fellow man.